Always investigating, we showed you before how deadly this intersection can be. Cars blowing past stop signs and refusing to yield to pedestrians. At the time, Hermosa neighbors couldn't get an answer from Alderman Roberto Maldonado, but tonight he's talking to CBS 2's Tara Molina. The 26 word alderman saw our story and says he's already made some moves to make some positive changes here. Something folks who live around here and have to cross these streets say they've wanted for a long time. You take a risk when you cross this street. That's what the people who live around it tell us. This area is very dangerous. Why? See for yourself. Not everyone stops. Just last week, a man in a dump truck blew this stop sign, hitting and killing a man crossing the street. Residents took it upon themselves to put these traffic cones in the street, but told us they want more. Neighborhood leaders from the Hermosa Neighborhood Association have addressed this issue with the 26th Ward, um, and really we have not heard anything. So we brought those concerns to 26th Ward Alderman Roberto Maldonado. Obviously, I'm deeply concerned. Who claimed his office had not heard concerns from the neighborhood. We caught driver after driver until our story aired Wednesday. Honestly, my office have never heard any complaints about uh, that intersection. When you did the story yesterday, today we did so call see that so that they can go out there because that is the first step. They have to do a traffic study and they have to decide to recommend or not a traffic light or any other ways to reduce, to force people to reduce their speed. And I hope we don't have to see another fatality before the city really take action. Right now, there aren't details to release on that planned traffic study, but of course, we're going to stay on this. Reporting on Dickens and Pulaski in Hermosa tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.